to get out of this conference is a commitment to the time when British troops are pulled out of Iraq. And that has got to be within the next year, before the middle of the year at least. The fact is, the fact is occupation troops in Iraq are not preventing violence or a slide into civil war, they're actually fueling it. They're actually making things worse. And we will certainly be reducing the tension if we withdraw our troops, and that is what we ought to do. We also have got to make absolutely clear that we will under no circumstances support any military attack against Iran by the US or by Israel. Ratchet up the escalation of violence uncontrollably. What right does Tony Blair have to say when he insists that Britain is going to go nuclear, that Iran cannot have nuclear power, when under international law that is unequivocally their right? And we should be making absolutely clear too that any idea of replacing Trident nuclear weapons at a cost of £25 billion. Or did you see the latest costings? 75 billion pounds if you include the cost of maintaining it over 35 years. That is absurd, it's irrelevant, it's not value for money, and we're not prepared to agree it in this country, whatever Gordon Brown may say. The truth is there's never going to be peace in the Middle East. While Muslims believe that the root to a viable and sustainable Palestinian state is blocked and at the same time Israel believes that it could get more by the use of military force uh, and by annexation of large tracts of Palestinian territory. That is not the way by which we're going to get peace in the Middle East. And, and now that we've had the Israeli defeat in Lebanon, now is the time for a comprehensive peace settlement in the Middle East. George Bush said that he wants democracy in the Middle East. Well, the Palestinians have just held an election and Hamas was unquestionably elected. Which is a good deal more than you can say about Bush's last two elections. And what did Bush say only the other day, let me quote it to you, of course we accept democratic elections, but that doesn't mean that we accept the governments necessarily that are produced by those democratic elections. A typical Bushism. The fact is, the fact is, despite all the horrendous pummeling of Lebanon, the fact remains that more people are being killed every day on the streets of Baghdad, Ramadi, Samarra, Najaf than in Lebanon. Uh, and surely even, even the hawks in Washington must realise that occupation troops are simply galvanising rather than stemming the insurgency. And yet the Americans are fortifying the green zone, they're bringing in a garrison, they say, of 50,000 troops, one tenth of their entire army. Why? Because the American occupation has nothing to do with democracy. It has nothing to do with security in Iraq. It has everything to do with oil and the extension, okay, and the extension of American control over the Middle East. That's what the neocon objective is all about. US global control. Our message is that is not the way by which we're going to get peace. War and terror in, in Iraq and threats in Iran are not the way. Only a comprehensive, negotiated, political settlement between Israel and the democratically elected Hamas government. That is our message, and that must be our priority.